the cylinder is not rotating, however, oscillation of the float pattern will cause the circulation to vary first in one direction and then in the other, with the result that there is a rapid oscillation in the cross thrust. This explains the tendency for telephone wires to sing in a high wind, or it explains the whistling sound that is given off by this rod as it swung rapidly through the air. Observation of the flow pattern behind such a cylinder will reveal the alternate shedding of vortices either side of the center line. The circulation around each vortex being just the opposite of the momentary circulation around the cylinder producing the side thrust. The succession of such vortices is called the Kármán vortex trail. If the cylinder is free to oscillate under the side thrust, as it is if suspended from light springs, it will gradually develop an oscillatory motion in the transverse direction and eventually move back and forth over a distance about equal to its diameter. An elliptical cylinder with major axis in the direction of the flow will have a more limited amplitude of oscillation, whereas one with its major axis normal to the flow will oscillate much more markedly. Some asymmetric forms, like either this semicircular cylinder or ice-encrusted telephone wires, are unstable, in that they will tend to oscillate farther and farther, with eventual breakage of the suspension as a result. A similar sort of instability is found in various structural sections, in particular the Tacoma Narrows Bridge, here seen oscillating in a high wind prior to ultimate failure. 